Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Much appreciated you guys checking the video out today. And in today's video, I'm going to address some comments I got from yesterday's video when I was talking basically about that you should never fish into the wind. Um, I got quite a few comments about people saying, oh, fish always position into the current, you're wrong, fish position into the wind, so the bait will flow down to him, all this type of stuff. Guys, I'm going to break some myths here about fish always facing into the current and give you guys my opinion on what I have observed in over 50 years of fishing, of studying bass behavior and diving. I've actually dove down and watched bass and current, that type of stuff. And I'm going to break some myths with a lot of people um, they read about or they hear about or they hear people talking about or theorizing and sort of tell you the reality behind it. Okay, first of all, um, bass are not victims of their environment like a lot of people think they are. A lot of people have this misconception out there that um, bass are, they're, they're always going to be positioned into the current or into the wind um, to basically ambush prey better and, to, you know, the water flowing through the gills and all that type of stuff. Guys, that is just not true. That is not true at all. Wild bass will position into the current sometimes. They don't do it a lot of times. And the, the, one of the biggest reasons for this, and like I said, I've dove down into current, into creeks and rivers a lot, and I've studied them, how they position on there, and plus witnessing, catching a lot of bass myself. There is so many underwater current breaks down there that you're not even aware that those breaks are down there. And what happens is you see the current flowing in a certain direction or you see the bass or, or you see the wind blowing in a certain direction and you think that those bass are going to be positioned into that current and the wind. That's not the reality of the situation. That's a myth because if you take any type of bank cover, if you take a rocky bank, points, laydowns, grass beds, um, root wads, whatever like that, if you dive down there and study those fish, you will see those fish swimming in all different directions in even a three to five mile an hour current. I've seen them down there where the current's been coming at a fairly swift pace, like on a creek or a river. And these fish are positioned looking down current because there are underwater current breaks down there that you can't see. These underwater current breaks come in a ton of different forms down there. And just because you theorize the fact that they're positioned into the current from what you see above the water is not the case most of the time. And like I said, I've caught far too many bass casting with the current, casting with the wind, far more than I have casting into it. Now, a lot of this has to do with, you know, the type of cover you're fishing and water clarity and how the fish are positioned with on that cover. But what I want to let everybody know here is when I'm talking about never fish into the wind, um, you, the, the, the point of the matter is, is you can become much more efficient by fishing with the wind because those fish are not positioned all the time into the current like you think they are. There's a big difference between fishing with the wind and with a current. Now, the current dict a lot of the times the current flow dictates how or if you can fish with the current and the type of cover you're fishing so sometimes if you're fishing say for example on a lake like say if you're on the upper end of like lay lake in alabama where you've got a heavy three to five mile an hour current and you're trying to pick apart tight isolated lay downs where these fish are in small areas obviously in a situation like that you cannot fish with the current because you can't blow into it. So you have to get out there and fight that current. But that doesn't mean that those fish are positioned in the current. That they can be positioned in lots of different ways based again upon what's breaking that current underwater. Undercut banks, lay down logs that you can't see under the water, rocks, that type of stuff. So a lot of it has to do, you know, with the type of cover that you're fishing. So the point of this entire video, I just wanted to make a quick point, quick point here, guys. It is a big myth that you think bass are forced or they are victim of their environments and they have to face into the current or into the wind all the time to ambush prey or whatever like that. That's simply not true. The thing that's going to allow you to catch more fish is if you make your casts long and efficient and you manipulate your lures better than you can in any other situation and that and that all has to do with fishing with the wind like I was talking about before but like I said wind and current are two different subjects they uh, bass bass position differently based upon the intensity of both the current and the wind 
and they also base they also position differently not only based upon the the intensity of that current in the wind but the water visibility within those situations and the type of cover that you're fishing so it can be a, a pretty much of a complex situation but break a myth right now guys bass do not always face into the current they face in 360 degrees i can tell you because i've seen them up hand my first i've seen them firsthand myself in current i've caught a lot of fish with the current i've caught them sideways in the current against the current every which way you can so that's one of the things i just want to encourage everybody don't get sucked in to believe in those fish are into the current and into the wind all the time and that you have to fish like that because you don't but that's that's just one of the fallacies of bass fishing so Anyway, that's my two cents worth, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk later.